Thank you very much, Fergus. Um, so I'm going to talk about uh, greening value chains and uh, this presentation is, I just really wanted to acknowledge the value chain team. Uh, one point to make is uh, you may be, you may notice we've got a new name. Uh, it used to be the um, VFI, Value Chains Finance and Investment. We're now calling ourselves Sustainable Value Chains and Investment. So same team, different name. Uh, next slide. But just, just to remind you, uh, the value chain theme has got three major areas of work. These include public and private institutional arrangements, business models that integrate smallholders and SMEs, and responsible finance initiatives. And I'll, I'll come back to these uh, three areas of work a little later. Next slide. Well, the, the value chain uh, team uh, certainly was, was very active during Science Week. We were involved in um, a number of presentations, but also there were uh, a large number. I, I counted 13 uh, sessions that included uh, or addressed value chains. Uh, both in plenary and, and in parallel. So a very rich uh, opportunity to contribute and, and to uh, take up new information and ideas from, uh, from other uh, uh, colleagues. Next slide. So we uh, uh, somewhat selfishly uh, took an opportunity during si Science Week to um, review and, and evaluate uh, the value chain theme um, uh, summarized here during, during the week uh, we presented uh, through a number of presentations progress towards solutions and just well I won't read through uh, all of these but uh, just so, uh, a sampling um, uh, in the Yangambi engage engagement landscape uh, we heard about uh, public-private partnerships, uh, incubators and accelerators, and community forestry. Uh, we heard about uh, bioenergy strategy in Kenya, uh, piloting jurisdictional approaches to zero deforestation in Ghana. Uh, we heard about the 20 associations active in value chains in the uh, Yangambi engagement landscape. There was a very rich discussion on integrated business model uh, typology and performance metrics, where we had both uh, parallel um, uh, and plenary sessions. Uh, we also reviewed uh, a pyramidal purchasing network to bulk up Shea from local markets to regional traders. And other uh, progress we reviewed, uh, scaling up investments in forest pathways. Uh, we contributed uh, to a, a very substantial document this year, the State of the Forest for 2022, uh, that was presented at the uh, Climate Change Convention. We also looked at a, uh, developed uh, the design for a new land finance hub that will connect SME projects to investors. So these are uh, uh, some, of, some of the progress that was presented this week. Next slide. We also had an opportunity to look at, at how the theme uh, could be reframed and enhanced and strengthened. Uh, again, according to, the, to our three uh, topic areas, but we, we saw overall uh, reframing opportunities, um, certainly a, an increased focus on delivering improvements to farmers and SMEs while refining in-house definitions and concepts that farmers are not necessarily uh, interested in. But again, a, a focus on our delivery. Uh, we engaged in a number of discussions on, on dominant ideas and uh, discussed how these uh, can ensure well-recognized and historically grounded ideas are harnessed 
and obviate the risk for uh, development feds. A big focus on uh, multi-stakeholder initiatives and uh, lots of discussion on how this can be incorporated into the theme. On public and private institutional arrangements, we uh, looked at incentives, perverse incentives, notably in agricultural and fossil fuel subsidies. We looked at uh, business and investment cases for bioenergy in Kenya and Indonesia, a fairly new topic. And we uh, identified the need to develop stronger linkages between the TPPs, mainly regarding institutional arrangements. We looked at and considered um, differential approaches to pr different private sector actors, ranging from cooperatives, SMEs, large companies, and uh, financial institutions. And finally, on uh, finance initiatives, we looked at uh, the need to better understand some of ICRAF's en engagements uh, with blended finance vehicles. So this is, this is something we'd like to better understand and look um, at how to become more specific about the types of responsible finance available, their modalities, and aptness for smallholders and SMEs. So these are some of the reframing issues. Next slide. Some of the key priorities we identified going forward um, through Science Week uh, participation, we looked um, identified opportunities to pilot sustainable business certification and public procurement uh, and incentive instruments. I mentioned earlier uh, bioenergy, an opportunity to showcase and benchmark uh, bioenergy initiatives. Obviously, uh, a number of have mentioned uh, research on COVID-19 impacts, uh, particular focus on women shea producers in West Africa. On business one models. Minute, uh, um, Michael, one minute. Okay. I uh, wanted to continue on the integrated business model uh, discussions around typology, performance metrics, and opportunities for showcasing. On finance, I, I mentioned the uh, interest in further reviewing blended finance vehicles. And I, I also mentioned uh, a new land finance hub and the uh, intention to test this hub in Asia and Africa. Next slide. So in summary, uh, the week provided a, a great uh, opportunity for the theme to validate its work, identify enhancements, and consolidation with, with other um, C4 ICRAF theme teams. Uh, we engaged across sessions, as I mentioned. Progress was recognized uh, through sessions uh, with a focus on solutions around greening supply chains. We did identify some framing required by the theme and a number of solution-oriented opportunities to uh, prioritize and guide our future work. So with that, uh, thank you very much.